Hi, Mike Jinung here. We're in the desert in Arizona. Uh, we just moved here and one of the things I was really looking forward to after we got settled in was having time alone with God in the desert. If you look in scripture, um, there was a lot that happened that the Lord did in the desert settings when somebody would come to be with him and seek him alone. Moses in the burning bush in the wilderness, David was in the desert in the wilderness for several years fleeing Saul. John the Baptist's ministry was in the desert. I mean, that's just crazy because you got people leaving town to come out to him. Jesus, how did he prepare? He prepared for ministry, not with seminary or Bible college, but 40 days alone in the wilderness. So there's something about being alone in the desert that's just really powerful spiritually and I mean, if you look around here, there is nothing. It's just, it's just a man or a woman alone with God. And what I've encountered and learned and what he's taught me is that when we set everything aside just for the purpose of going after him, um, you just don't know what's going to happen. So last week, uh, I went out to the desert alone with the Lord. It's probably, I don't know, 110 degrees during the day. I got in... Um, I found a house kind of in the middle of nowhere to rent a room at. Arrived Wednesday around 5 p.m. Went out to the desert floor and as soon as I sat down, I just had this instant sense of peace. And it was a peace, I don't know that I've, I mean I've encountered peace with God many times, but this time was just a thick sense of peace, maybe unlike too many others I've encountered and so as soon as I sat down was resting with him um, he gave me two words be still and what do you read in Psalm 31 be still in the Lord uh, you know be still and know I am God so stillness letting everything go uh, is a part of seeking him getting to know him resting with him and so that was Wednesday night beautiful time with him just rest and peace and and then Thursday morning I you know go out to the desert again and then he gives me two more words from Psalm 131 surely you have calmed and quieted my soul calm and quiet and I know what God is speaking when I'm alone with him during several days and um, there's a certain theme going, so I'm thinking, okay, this is from him. Be still, calm and quiet. And notice who has to do those things. We do. I had to calm and quiet my soul. I had to be still before him. And then same result, just amazing, deep sense of thick peace and rest. It was just, it was so wonderful. It was just like tasting heaven. And then Friday morning, I'm going to leave. I go out to the desert at 5.30 in the morning and uh, then there's two more words, peace and rest. Uh, you know, I think about the storm, you know, when Jesus is in the boat and the disciples are freaking out and, and Jesus just says, peace, be still, rest in the Lord, rest is all over, you know, scripture. And so I came to a place of rest, but then something unexpected happening um, that was just amazing. He took me back to, and not even took me back, there had been a wound I'd been suffering with really since, for decades, from something traumatic that happened. I had forgiven the person, but just because we forgive somebody doesn't mean we heal from it. And that, that wound had always been there, I'd always known it was there, and um, I prayed about it many times over the years, but it just never quite had cleared up, and the Holy Spirit spoke into that place, um, basically saying that He wasn't mad at me for what happened, even though it wasn't, what happened was not my fault, it was something done to me, but the outcome of that was a tiny bit of, or a bit of fear, um, through the situation and the person that did it. And he touched that place in my heart in, in a deep, deep level that was just um, incredible. Um, in that place of rest and hearing from him and resting with him, 
I was healed from that, and he, and he gave me this verse from Romans 5, um, 5, 1. Therefore, I've been justified by faith. We have peace with God. And so he spoke into that to my place in my soul in the moment, and it was like, it wasn't like, it was a, an open, a wound was healed, and an open, my soul was expanded because when we're hurt and when we're traumatized or when we're wounded, there's, you've got all that stuff in there, you know, the resentment, the pain, the fear or whatever it is in there that's taking that place in your heart and all that was cleaned out of me in that moment. But what I should also um, let you know is that all the while the Holy Spirit's doing this, there's spiritual warfare going on. So I'm feeling all this weird anxiety. I mean, here I'm going from peace to this, this spiritual battle. And, you know, the enemy doesn't just sit there and go, hmm, that's a really nice thing that God's going to do for you. Sometimes, um, you know, when there's a wound there or something, he'll enter in and there will be a fight. And so I had to take up my authority in Christ, spend a little bit of time of praying and, you know, against it. And... And then God did this amazing work. And so I left, when I left the desert Friday morning, I was just rejoicing. I mean, amazing healing, deep work, amazing peace. And, and, and all in a place, you know, like this where there's nothing. And I know that when we set everything aside to go after God, especially in a place where there's nothing that he honors that. Why? Because there's no more distractions. It's just me and the Lord, or you and the Lord. I mean, what do you got to look at? And a bunch of rocks and cactus and, you know, those things. And when I left Friday, I was just um, over, overflowing with joy at the time I had. I, I didn't want to leave. And even today, I can't wait to go back for the next time. Usually I try and have two or three days away with the Lord, maybe once every three months. But in this setting, it might be more. I don't know. Um, it's really beautiful to encounter Him like that. I mean, this is where the power of the Christian life comes from, is these times where if you seek me with all your heart, as He says, you will find me. So I think if you look at everything that's going on around today with basically a moral collapse that the um, you know your Christian walk is gonna have to be more than just what I call mechanical Christianity where you focus on being good or Bible study or doing good things I mean those are all supposed to be the outflow from an awesome passionate love relationship with the Lord those aren't the main things. Those, are, those spring out of your relationship with Him. So the question is, do you have the fruit of the Spirit? Do you have the abundant life? Do you have love, peace, and joy coming out of your heart? Or, you know, are you going to church and kind of faking the Christian game and being religious and smiling? And, but inside, you know there's got to be more. And the other thing I see going on today, you know, you see people getting booted out of churches. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think sometimes we need to get kicked out of the church, out of the building, I should say. Not the church, but out of the building so that we're in settings like this so that now we're totally focused on God and we're sitting with Him and resting with Him and hearing Him and letting Him do, letting him do His work in our heart. That doesn't mean He doesn't do that in church, but if you look in Scripture, there are a lot of times when God sent people out to the wilderness. Um, John the Baptist is one, you know, easy example. There is a lot of amazing work done, you know, in the wilderness and, you know, Jesus preparing, as I mentioned before. So I want to challenge you, today is not a day where we can just have, kind of play church. Today is a, the times we're in have to be a time where we are close with God, where we're filled with Him, where we're seeking His face in the desert or in the mountains or somewhere from time to time where there's no distractions, where everything is focused on Him and what He wants to do in our life. So uh, may God bless you with His peace.